What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dash Come Back to Real Takes. Well, it's the time, you guys, it's horror short time. This one is through Ultra. This one is titled Fishwife. Now, that title definitely has me intrigued. I saw the thumbnail. So, pretty much going and blinded with this one, with my thoughts on this. But I definitely am looking forward to seeing what this is about. So, look, that said, let's go and jump into it. Say the rest of my thoughts at the end, you guys.
Is anybody there? Sorry. I really am so sorry. Mm -hmm. Are you from the town? Oh, I'm, I'm rather embarrassed. I, I really don't want to cause you any trouble. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Exactly. Hell in that lake. It's so dark out here I can't see a thing. What do you need, sir? I'm lost. I'm scared of my own shadow. Just a moment next to a fire. Some directions. My wife's family live in a town. I can send you back money. No. Well, whatever you need. Could I? What are you doing out there by yourself and why are you? Just... Please. It's just I really had the feeling that something was following me. Swimming. Just over the surface of the grass behind my ankles. Can you hear that? You must be the only person for miles. Do you want to sit? By the fire? Yes. Okay. I'll get you something to eat. No, thank you. No, no, really, I'm fine. I have food. Thank you. Let's get back to town. It's far, but it isn't hard. There's a sort of path over the hill behind the house. Don't go on the rocks, just follow the grass until you're half an hour. And then once you're past that, follow down the edge of the woods until you get to the road. Downhill to the east. What's the matter? I'm sorry. sorry. What's the matter? What do you think is happening? Good lord. You're in some sort of pain. Like, what in the world? That's what I'm like. How do you end up out there? You got from your wife and all that. You don't want to hurt you. Oh, I see me. What was that? Oh, what is he doing?
is going on here? you guys i enjoyed this short now first off let me shout out the writer producer director beth park this one was amazing i will say this when i looked at the overall aesthetic just looking at it, it gives me a vibe of of course definitely like a period piece but kind of like you know what is like the gram just the overall look of it right off the bat now i will say with the um main character the lady you see of course she 
is just doing her every day. You, clearly, when you see the first part, it shows some blood, whatever, and water she's washing off and all that. In the midst of it, I'm not you know, aware of what's going on. I'm just thinking, got stained some way, cut, whatever, and all. I'll come to find out it was her cycle. Now, with that being said, as time goes on, you see a scene where she goes outside and she sees this man, this, you know, black man, and he's taking her cloth, you know, wherever, you know, might have been her dress and all that. And he takes it on, he's laughing and walks away. And I'm like, you, and there's no words spoken. It was almost like a little intimidating, like, you know, who's this man? Like, where are you coming from? Because when you see it, the way it's set up, it doesn't look like it's anything for miles. Then with that being said, what I found really interesting, this one, it kind of picked up a little extra in, in, you know, the intensity of this particular short was when you see scenes of her in her home where it looks like she's having moments where she's, you know, recreating an event or a moment where she's got, you know, looking at her outfit and all, it looks like she's talking to somebody, you know, you see all the different facial expressions, things she's doing, you know, turning around like a little bit of a dance and all that. And then eventually things change. I will say that she must have something where she keeps track of the days, what looks like this thing that was hanging, where she moves this little a pen and puts it in each hole. So I figured that must have been, you know, a culminating of, you know, each day that goes by, whatever and all that. I'm assuming as the month, you know, each month. And when I say picks up, when we all of a sudden hear a knock on the on her door and it's this man, now you see how he's dressed. He definitely looks like he's out of sorts. Then you see him asking, I, you know, oh, you must be the only one out here from us. He said, you know, can I, you know, get just some, you know, of course, you know, I wanted to say, what did he say? You know, wants to get warm and then if he can get some direction to kind of get him back to where he's at. Because I'm trying to think, how did you get so far from where you come from, John, when you're in the town, you know, his wife? They just let you wander off right there, suspect to me automatically. You look like you're totally out your element. You look at her and all that and just weird. And she's better than me because I wouldn't have let him in. I wouldn't even answer the door. I would look through Pete, whatever, gone. But she lets him in. She tried to be kind and was. He's like, I don't want to say, here you go. Take what somebody's offering you. I open this door to let you in here to get warm. Drink something, eat something. Then I'll, she, of course, tended to give him some directions. But then you see when all of a sudden he's acting so way. And I'm thinking, okay, is he hurt? Okay. Something happened. He's not feeling well. And then something comes out of his mouth now. I don't know what it was. I don't can tell if it was a piece of something, you know, he might have coughed up whatever and all that, whatever. I couldn't see originally. I needed to go back and look, but I just didn't check. But when he uses it to cut her, and then you see how he runs away, and then it's like, you know, he runs right into the water. I'm like, what in the hell's going on? <laughs> totally caught me off guard. Like, I'm just not understanding what was the point of him doing that. But it definitely makes me wonder, okay, with him... And then understanding, or trying to understand what that man was doing by taking her cloth that she'd rinsed off from the blood. Now, you see time might have passed, not that long, but then you notice the next time you see her from the way this is edited, she is pregnant. And I'm trying to gavel my, you know, sometimes you have to, you know, figure things out on your own and all that. I don't mind that because it's just like, okay just how things are coming and there's no other man whatever she lives by herself so i don't know from the prop of whatever happened that might have been what happened i don't know but i'm gonna tell you like this this whole situation right here i just have no words and when you see this man that, that black man coming up to her thing he has some sort of basket it's got chains on it and i'm like what is actually is this what's what's, what's going on here so she goes out the side, whatever, she has a knife, and she cuts him. He's done. She goes to the water, you know, puts her hands in it, and you see something from afar that could be some sort of, you know, fish, merman. I don't know. I don't know if it's that young man who was dressed. He wasn't in just some cloth or whatever. He was literally, like, dressed in a full suit of sorts of some sort of suit. So I don't know what's going on there. But it makes you wonder, because when she saw it come up, that she put her hands in it for the blood from the knife, whatever, and all that, it all of a sudden appeared, and she just started to have a smirk. So, you pretty much left it, you know, come up, you know, your interpretation moving forward. These are the ones I always say I wish were longer, but this was a good 16 minutes, so it's just like, <sighs> maybe another five minutes or so, but, you know, I'm going to take <laughs> what we've gotten from the director it was just beautifully done like i said the overall aesthetic you know seeing this woman the day-to-day -day, the understanding of what 
what these men were up to, what was going on. Like, that's why I was like, yeah, I, 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 I wanted more. I'm not going to get more, but it's okay. <laughs> but I truly did enjoy this short. So with that said, you guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.